my name is Ryan Hardy. Uh, I'm manager of the Environmental Business Development Office at American Honda. And this project was um, you know, conceived by our group, Michael mentioned to be a, kind of a, a vision of a future where everybody has solar panels on the roof, everybody has an EV in the garage, and so let's explore that and see how we can have you know, zero carbon living and transportation. So one of the challenges, this is basically two big challenges of a solar powered EV driving future. One of them is what do you do with all that solar power in the daytime? If you just simply flood it onto the grid, the electric grid doesn't really need it. And so we control some of the house loads to use uh, the, uh, the, the cooling system to pre-cool the house, you use some of the power here, store some of the power in a storage battery, so that's a 10 kilowatt hour battery. It's the same battery that's in the Fit EV. And, um, it's a little box. Yeah, a little box, mm -hmm. 10 kilowatt hour battery. So you store some of the power, you, you use some of the power, you use the power to charge, so when people come home, if the sun's still shining or if they're here in the daytime, you can just directly plug in. Right, and then, if, if that is a storage unit, then how much of the house can you run just on that storage unit of, of electricity? Well, it depends on how much you're using. So uh, just the lights and say the, the heat pump you could use for a considerable amount of time. If the tenants wanted to cook a turkey or something like that, it would use a power really quickly. So it depends on what you're using. I think if people knew that grid was down and they wanted to run just on the solar and the battery and the grid was down, they could do that pretty much indefinitely by using their own, uh, just kind of managing their own power use. Their little, um, the, there's a, a display panel like that a few places in the house and the users can monitor how much energy is in the battery, they can monitor how much solar power they're generating and they'd be able to manage their, their power use to keep it within, within reasonable. Um, this is the house makes enough power every day to you know fully charge a fit EV, so they'd have transportation energy security as well as you know home residential energy security from that from that system. So a couple things the system does. Um, number one is it's more efficient to keep electricity in DC form. So the solar panels are generating DC electricity, and the um, the, the device charges the car all in DC form. We don't convert to you know, 60 hertz AC grid electricity and then convert back. So we go from you know, high voltage DC off the solar panels to high voltage DC stored in the car, same in the storage battery, without converting back to AC and that, that's, that's more efficient. Um, we also listen to the content of the electric grid. So if there's a lot of, uh, say, wind, wind power blowing, uh, a lot of you know, low carbon generation on the grid, we can choose to charge the battery using grid power. Or if there's a lot of, say, natural gas burning on the grid, or if the state is importing coal power from Nevada, we can choose to flood the grid with power from, from the stationary battery in order to manage that. So in that future, if everybody had this type of system, electric car and, uh, and you know, solar PV, is um, there, we'd be able to, to manage that. Is that there a time future. when you do change over to AC? Yeah, so um, the device has an AC inverter. That's actually, I think, what you can hear switching right now. And that's currently pushing power onto the grid because the house is not using as much power as is being generated. So we're currently pushing power to the grid. Um, all of these lights and all of the, 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 the heat pump that Michael was telling you about, that's all AC equipment. It's not all not, not mm -hmm. AC equipment. So then you have to convert to AC to get it up into the house. Yes. Out of the garage. Yeah. We, we considered doing DC, but it's not at commercial feasibility yet, where we can actually buy stuff and get it UL listed and have an electrician install it. But even to send it to the grid, it has to be converted yes. to AC. Yes, yeah, to put it to the grid, you've got to convert to 240 volt AC. Okay.